and welcome to Barnhill Geography. Today we're looking at Tor Quarry, located in the heart of Somerset in England. This limestone quarry is not just a site of industrial activity, but also a beacon of sustainable practice. Tor Quarry is actively involved in habitat restoration. Wildlife friendly lakes, native vegetation landscaping and natural limestone features are all created in partnership with the Somerset Wildlife Trust. Pollution control is a top priority here. Regular monitoring of dust, noise and chemical emissions help to ensure that environmental impact is kept to a minimum. Waste management at Tor Quarry is exemplary. There's recycled aggregates which are used to reduce waste with spare crushed rock repurposed for future building projects. For example, using concrete or even use on the surfaces of roads. Now to help reduce the impact on local roads, Tor Quarry uses rail transport by freight train for removing materials but significantly cutting down on that road traffic and any associated emissions, helping to avoid further congestion and impacts on local commute times. Tor Quarry contributes approximately £15 million annually to the local community, helping to boost the multiplier effect, and produces around 5 tonnes of rock each year, which are sent all over the UK. As previously stated, lots of this is for building material but also for road surfaces due to its high polished stone value content. Now Tor Quarry also employs energy efficient technologies and practices which are employed to reduce the quarry's carbon footprint. For example, some of their machinery runs on biodiesel or on recycled vegetable oil. So it's clear the positive environmental impact is evident. Restoration projects help to enhance the biodiversity and create recreational spaces for the community. Over 80 hectares are landscaped with grass and trees to blend with the natural surroundings. The local people around the area commonly use these spaces. There is also a 27 acre reservoir augmenting local water courses. This helps to further reduce flood risk in the area. This supports the creation of biodiverse rich environments. Despite this, however, challenges remain. Quarrying activities can produce noise and dust, which are continuously monitored and managed. The visual impact of quarrying can also be quite negative, as you can see in the video behind here. Now, this leaves scars on the landscape from removing soil and rock. Water quality can also be compromised due to quarry runoff, containing suspended solids and chemicals. This can lead to water pollution downstream, not only affecting the environment, but also people. So balancing the economic benefits with environmental sustainability is an ongoing effort for Tor Quarry. Tor Quarry is committed to enhancing sustainability practices and further reducing its environmental impact through innovative technologies and community engagement. In the background here is not Tor Quarry, but it's a damn nice picture showing an example of what quarries can become in the future. On the next slide, you'll find a summary slide, followed by an example question and model answer. The example question states, to what extent can sustainable industry support the economy and the environment? Use an example from the UK that you've studied. Obviously the question context here is asking us for sustainable industry. So we're going to use Tor Quarry as our example for this question. Now for this answer we'd have to use an agree and disagree because it is to what extent. Let's read through together this time. Sustainable industry can significantly support both the economy and the environment as demonstrated by Tor Quarry in Somerset, England. Don't worry if you forget the location, just say Tor Quarry. Tor Quarry produces approximately £15 million annually to the local economy and produces around 5 million tonnes of rock each year. This economic contribution supports local businesses, creates jobs and stimulates economic growth. We could have also included the multiplier effect here. By integrating sustainable practices such as habitat restoration, pollution control and waste management, Tor Quarry minimises its environmental impact while maintaining economic productivity. This balance between economic benefits and environmental stewardship exemplifies how sustainable industry can drive economic growth while preserving natural resources. Don't worry if you forget the link here. Instead of using a link, you can use your conclusion. However, it's better practice to include a full peel paragraph as we can see. However, sustainable industry faces challenges that can limit its ability to fully support the economy and the environment. 
Despite its efforts, Tor Quarry still encounters issues such as noise and dust pollution, visual impact and water quality concerns. These evidence highlight the ongoing environmental impact of quarrying activities, which can affect local communities and ecosystems nearby. Balancing economic benefits with environmental sustainability is an ongoing effort, and the costs associated with implementing sustainable strat strategies or practices can be high. Therefore, while sustainable industry can make significant strides, it's not always fully able to mitigate its environmental impact or achieve complete economic and environmental harmony. If you've used two good links throughout your answer, you do not have to include a conclusion, and vice versa. In conclusion, sustainable industry, as exemplified by Tor Quarry, can support both the economy and the environment to a considerable extent. However, challenges still remain, and achieving a perfect balance between economic growth and environmental preservation is complex and requires continuous effort and innovation. Thank you for watching Bond Hill Geography. I'll catch you in the next video. If you liked the talk over for the exam question, please give this video a thumbs up.